Thank you, thank you. Um, maybe a little different approach than what we saw with the first two there, but um, I think Jordan had mentioned a little bit, you know, part of what these sessions are about is, you know, bringing awareness, and EFC's kind of been in that same boat where we have a lot of great tools, and our objective has really been to bring the awareness out to, you know, the public and our users of what all, you know, we are doing today. So, um, again, my name is Devon Von Gunden, Senior Product Manager with EFC Systems, and at least with today's focus, so with today's time, um, you know, I was going to speak about our field analytics uh, product, which is a web-based precision ag software solution, and then really, you know, how it's being built around this idea of comprehensive solutions. And for us, that means a number of things. Uh, most importantly, you know, we're trying to help aid in that idea of consolidation of software solutions for our dealers and users. Um, ultimately, wanting to build a tool that's going to help them aid in any of those regulatory compliance traceability needs. Uh, you know, obviously focusing around that idea of changes in that retailer grower relationship and the tools they, they use to communicate, enabling process-oriented functionality, how to get from A to Z, but then also turning, you know, data into actions. And we're seeing more and more and more data come in on a daily basis, and that's not going to, you know, change that trend. And then lastly, you're really promoting that mobile world that our clients have to live in today. So I'm going to go through a number of modules as quickly as possible, just kind of give you a full grasp of what we're working with today and how, you know, we're trying to bring this in-house. Uh, kind of subdivided it up. So we have some of our historic core strengths, and that was really focused around, you know, data processing and analysis, machine communication, and then that fertility uh, prescription piece. And then, you know, if we talk a little bit about data processing analysis, you know, for us that means making sure we have the flexible solutions in place to let our users easily see, comprehend, visualize, manipulate, edit, and ultimately, you know, work with their data in any fashion they see fit. So customization around their reports, you know, visualizations on the data all come into play. And then as we talk about machine communication, well, historically this was, you know, around, you know, wireless file sending, the data communication part, but then also third-party APIs and machine tracking. So, you know, we've built this linked data flow process that we enabled, you know, how to easily get, you know, information from our system out to the connected equipment but then likewise, how to get that back into the cloud system where users are not having to physically download or upload files or manually associate information uh, to their boundaries. And then on the fertility side, <clears throat> you know, this meant not only the direct lab integration, but then also, you know, how to go about the fertility recommendation process. So enabling the collection of that information as well as the, you know, enablement of bringing it back into the program from those connected labs. But then, you know, the soil data, the yield data, even your management zones, all building into that prescription process, then ultimately the ease of getting that back out to the connected equipment and even to our integrated work order system. So that next wave, as I like to call it, of solutions has been built in. And this is where, you know, maybe some who aren't historically familiar with us don't understand or, or aren't familiar with exactly what we're doing. So I kind of broke this into four quick parts, workflow enablement, records, compliancy, mobility, and integrations. And on that work order or dispatch management side, this ensures that our users have the tools to kind of set up, classify, and determine all their in-field actions throughout a year, you know, lay out the products, rates, and other you know, variables that are going to go into that, and then have the visual tools to see those jobs in correlation with their, you know, connected equipment, their tracked equipment, and really schedule out the required dispatch orders uh, out to the field. And then, you know, around the compliance and record side, a um, couple slides here, but we took advantage of our, you know, unique uh, integration to CDMS uh, for all of our label check needs. Uh, this allows us to have that full product lookup database, immediate, you know, qualification of the product based on rate, state, crop, and other variables to give back the feedback to our users, and tying that in, again, to the records, uh, the scouting, you know, the work order conjunction piece. And then on the record keeping and planning aspect, um, kind of really took a calendar based visualization to the process, but really automating the records. So as jobs are completed, as new log data comes into the system, automation around the entry point of records, and then ultimately flowing into the off season scheduling, budgeting aspect, of setting up plans and scenarios and giving that full uh, revenue P&L uh, side of the business. And then mobility. So this is a fast evolving, you know, part of the solution, um, and there's really two aspects of it today. You know, your offline scenarios, infield collection for, you know, soil tissue samples, uh, field scouting, and all the GPS-related components to that, but then also the connected side of the app, 
you know, where today our users need that point of entry for work order details, modifications of jobs, uh, turn by turn navigation, dispatch, you know, scheduling and, and viewing, and then ultimately job summary details flowing back through the, the program by the applicator and the correct staff. And then our final bit to uh, today's five minutes really focuses on integrations. Um, and today, you know, we work with a number of industry leaders and partners that really help strengthen our program, and that is just what we're trying to do, enhance our user experience, you know, promote that idea of single, you know, sign-on for data access, you know, broaden their, their user abilities, but still let us become that central control system. And if I focus on one integration, this is actually an in-house integration, you know, we do third-party integration to ERP, but I wanted to speak about our merchant ag integration. And for our users today, running both those platforms, what this has enabled for them ultimately is a, a better user experience, one that's removed that you know, re reduction of duplicate entry for jobs, you know, linked up those products, had greater data control around the information being shared. And I have a slide real quickly on that, so you know, what is being shared. And those primary sets become the set, you know, location data, grower data, uh, client information, uh, inventory levels, billables, pricing, product codes all part of what can be serviced through that. So really, you know, enabling that idea of live in one system, connect out to where you need to, and have the tools to let them, you know, really stay in there from A to Z. So that brings me to the end, a few seconds over, but I appreciate the time, and if anyone has any questions, myself and a few of my colleagues will be around, so thank you.